Hello, I'm Robin Crow, the founder of Dark Horse Institute. Now let's talk for a minute about how to avoid record deal scams. If you're an indie artist trying to navigate your career through the ever-changing music business, then listen up and beware. If you've posted your music on Facebook, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, or any other online platforms, there's a really good chance you'll eventually be approached by someone who's offering you a record deal. Truth be told, these are not really record deals. They're most often pay-to-play scams perpetuated by bottom feeders who troll the internet indiscriminately trying to sign artists to fee-based marketing and promotion deals. If they ask you for a monthly fee promising to get you press, radio, airplay, and song placement in film and TV shows, you better run. The problem is, in a legitimate record deal, the record label pays you and not the other way around. A record deal involves three things. One, the label puts up their money for you to go into the studio or to buy your existing masters. Two, they employ a staff of marketing and promotion experts who spend their money to get you press, publicity, and radio airplay. And three, They'll distribute your record through their network of brick and mortar stores, online retailers, download sites, and streaming services. In other words, in a real record deal, you don't pay for anything. It's your talent plus their money. Now that's a record deal. Now if you're lucky enough to be offered a legitimate record deal, here are some key things you should look for. One, of course, you want to be offered a great recording budget which is the money they will give you to go into the studio and make the record of your dreams. And two, you want a generous artist royalty. In other words, the amount of money that you'll make for every record sold, downloaded, or streamed. And three, you want a fair term, the number of years you sign for. Too long and you may find yourself stuck in a bad deal, and too short, you might be prematurely out on the street shopping for another record deal. And four, you want the scope of what's covered by the deal to be narrow. Labels may try to get you to sign a 360 deal where they share in all the money you earn, including touring, songwriting, merchandise sales, and so on. But if at all possible, you want to limit their involvement to just your record sales. Five, you want to limit the territory, in other words, the geographical areas covered by the agreement, to just those parts of the world where they have significant staff and expertise in breaking artists. Six, Believe it or not, you'll actually need a release commitment that guarantees they will actually put your record out through legitimate physical and digital distribution channels. And seven, you want a marketing commitment that spells out exactly how they plan to promote your album through press, web, and social media marketing, radio airplay, advertising, and tour support. And eight, lastly, you want a clear understanding of who has creative control and what happens to your master recordings after the deal is over. Listen, we're just skimming the surface here. There's a lot to consider and a lot to learn. But remember, a real record deal is about your talent and their money. Anything else, it just might be a scam.